What is the fastest car on Earth? Regulations continue to hold back all racing cars throughout the world, even at the highest tiers of racing today. But what if there was a machine that knew no bounds? To drive upon the earth at the fastest speed. I mean, I think one possibility there is to go back to the chaparral type solution. The idea of a fan car was once banished and locked away, ironically because of its single-minded focus on pure speed. The cutting edge of today's technology merged with this forbidden concept. This is the X1. Since uh, PlayStation 1 and then PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, so uh, all of them I was a huge fan and uh, yeah, enjoyed all of the games. Yeah, I mean, the car looks very cool, first of all, but, uh, you know, it's very good to drive as well. The handling is fine, so it's just right, it's not out of balance. Um, you know, in other, other cars, you sometimes have the feeling, oh, it's a bit lazy or it's too aggressive, you can't really put it on the track, but here the balance is just right, and uh, as I said, the grip is a, is a new dimension, so uh, all of that makes it so enjoyable. Yeah, it was going too quick. I thought, okay, you know, we're, we're talking about speeds around 400 and, and so on. But uh, I went around the Nürburgring, I think, the first time, and I was, uh, well, you know, straight away 20 or 30 seconds quicker than I was in the in the real Formula One car. So uh, <laughs> it was quite a surprise how how fast the, the car is. But uh, you really need to get into it. You know, how late you can brake and then still how, how fast you can go in the corners. And uh, it's, it's really a very tricky car to drive, but once you find out how, how it works, it's, it's really a lot of fun. Pandora's box has been opened. What you see before you is the fastest machine on land, the X1. Its unleashed power will carve out a new legend on the circuit.